Okay, we are on to Illumination, which there is actually quite a major change here. Endless Reserves actually became one of the most useful abilities in the game, at least in terms of group aspect. Personal, like solo aspects, it doesn't do anything. But basically you spend some of your resources and you restore resources back to everyone in your group which basically you spend say like right now I'm at what am I at I'm at five so we have I spend 30 stamina and gamma but I give my team 60 but it has a two minute cooldown takes a second to cast but it's still very useful in group play uh, meditation was actually reduced on regeneration so that's one thing but that's not a huge issue because you actually have another stance now, uh, another stance, another aura now called Enlighten, which increases the maximum resources of your entire group, which doesn't have an icon, but don't worry about that. So, Meditation pretty much has two auras now and one group support aspect. So, when I use it like this, it'll spend my resources and it'll give it to my team, but obviously, I was standing still when the regen tick happened, so. You didn't get to see, obviously, much. You might have seen when it went down. But, yeah, meditation is a lot stronger now. It's more sought after in groups. It's probably one of the only aura lines that I would definitely say should be required in group versus group PvP. And in PvE, definitely the most useful since you don't really need any other aura. Having the regen and the fact PvE is so easy, you kind of can just stand there and not give a damn. But that's everything on meditation. Well, not meditation, illumination.